All right, so after some thought, I do think I'm going to go ahead and do Red Cliff first. Just, that's usually where I head to next, and it's just a, a really good starting point. So, who do I bring to Red Cliff? I think to start with, it should just be Alistair, Leliana, and Dog, because there's a conversation right at the beginning, if I remember correctly, that Sten and Morrigan would get mad at for participating in. Yes. So I'm going to bring those three. That's Ben Lorenz lands. Red Cliff. Cannot go back to Ostagar quite yet. And we're leaving Lotharang. Soldiers. Not Ban Lorenz lands were Soldiers Peak. I might be getting those two mixed up. Uh, Red Cliff kick the village. Let's go. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. For whatever reason, I'm wanting to say, let me guess, you're an idiot is the correct answer, but I'm just going to say, what's on your mind? I told you before how Al Eamon raised me, right? That my mother was a serving girl at the castle and he took me in. The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marrick, which made Kaelin my half-brother, I suppose. So you're not just a bastard, but you're a royal bastard. Ha! Yes, I guess it does at that. I should use that line more often. I, I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I've never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. I think I understand. Does Loghain... Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. I don't know if that means anything, though. I certainly never considered the idea that it might ever be important. At any rate, that's it. That's what I had to tell you. I thought you should know about it. Uh, are you sure you're not hiding anything else? Besides my unholy love of fine cheeses and a minor obsession with my hair, no, that's it. Just the prince thing. You're a prince. Somehow I find that very thrilling. Uh, yeah, I think that's the right one. Oh, did I just find the one damn decent thing about my birthright? I think I did. I have no illusions about my status, however. It's always been made very clear that I'm a commoner, and now a Grey Warden, and in no way in line for the throne. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard, oh no, I, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. As you command, my prince. And what does that make me? Uh, I think it's as you command, my prince. Oh, lovely. I'm going to regret this. Somehow I just know it. Alright. Now if I want to bring the other ones in, I can. Though, I'm trying to think... Morgan might also get mad. What 
Wait, you know, that wasn't the right conversation. It's the bridge one. And so I shall. Yeah, this one. So Morgan doesn't like helping people. I thought I people. saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? What do you mean? Is there a problem? So you... you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? I've heard that Arl Eamon is sick, if that's what you mean. He could be dead for all we know. Nobody's heard from the castle in days. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting. And dying. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother, he's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. And he was the guy in the cutscene who was just like, that was rather fortuitous during uh, Logan's ascension to Regan, Regent. I guess. Oh, Tegan. Knock, knock. It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair. That's all he needed to know. It is you, <laughs> isn't it? You're alive. This is wonderful news. Still alive, yes. Though not for long if Tern Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. You don't believe Loghain's lies? What, that he pulled his men in order to save them? That Caelan risked everything in the name of glory? <laughs> Hard. Well, he kinda did. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the king. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. What evil things are you talking about? Some call them the walking dead, decomposing corpses, returning to life with a hunger for human flesh. They hit again the next night. Each night they come with greater numbers. With Caelan dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Alistair, I hate to ask, but I desperately need the help of you and your friends. It that isn't way. just up to me. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Loghain without Arl Eamon. That line right there, Morgan's just like, Are we to help every beggar in the world? <laughs> uh, of course we'll help. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Tell me more about yourself. This is hardly the time to be discussing personal details, don't you think? We will have to fight for our lives very shortly. Come on, there's no a little about you too much to ask. That's true. I think for now we'll just say that. I mean no offense. I just don't want to spend what little time we have left chatting instead of preparing. 
I want to discuss the situation with you. Of course. We have some of Arl Eamon's knights here. I have those few who returned from their quest. You know of this, yes? The search for the urn of sacred ashes. Yes, I question Isolde's decision to send so many knights in search of this relic. But I am a practical man, whereas she is a woman of great faith. Sir Perth was one of the knights sent on this quest. Perhaps you should speak to him if you wish to learn more. Why are you in the Chantry with the villagers? Sir Perth insists. He wants me to be with the villagers, so everyone he needs to protect is in one place. I don't mind, to be honest. The point of all this is to protect the villagers, and I can do that best here. This is the last line of defense, should things go amiss. You need more men in here with you. We could bring some men in to stand beside me, but I'd rather keep the monsters away from the villagers if possible. What exactly are the things that attack this village? I do not know. They seem to be walking corpses, men with rotting flesh that continue to attack even with the gravest injuries. All I know is these things don't fall easily. You hack them to pieces and still they come. So what happens after this battle is over? Hopefully we can find the source and stop it before it causes any more damage. With luck, we'll also find Eamon and be able to help him. We should get back to work. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Right. Some good approval right there. I'm scared, Mother. When are the bad men coming? Soon, darling. Don't worry. Everything will be all right. But I want to go home. Where's Father? Why can't we go home? I already told you. Father is outside defending the village from the bad men. We must stay here and be brave. Can you do that? I... I guess so. Yeah, oddly enough, Kaylin was kind of asking for it, but not in the sense of... Like, he could definitely have survived Ostagar. Um... If Loghain hadn't been a dick. But he was kind of in it for the glory. Is it even safe for us to stay here? Perhaps we should ask at the castle. Get a... These are terrible times. Just terrible. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to have a quest for me, but I know. Good day. I'm so scared, Father. What night are we will come. The light comes again. And for Elden is gone. Caitlin. Sorry. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Oh, Caitlin is the one I want to talk to about the missing kid. Um, Jada is... A Blackstone's a regular quest, if I remember correctly. Uh, I think her husband died, and I, I come back and tell her about it. I don't think I get that quest until I meet the Blackstone Irregulars in Lake Kalanad. Are you alright? Why are you crying? Those... those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time. Everywhere. How terrible, you poor thing. I wish there was something we could do to help. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Try looking for your brother. I went to our house. It's by the square. He wasn't there. I searched the rest of the village too. I called and I called, but he never answered. I wonder if he ran off into the woods. I'm so worried. Without me, he has nobody. Why would he run off, do you know? He said something about saving Mother. He's just a little boy. He doesn't understand she's gone. I hope he didn't try to go to the castle. Oh, that would be awful. Don't worry, I'll look for him. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. Right. Into town proper. Which I guess at this point, if I want to swap mm -hmm. someone else in, I'll go ahead and grab one. Alright. Alright. It was difficult to breathe within with all that self-righteousness crowding the air. 
What is that smell? Fish? And something else. Oh, more fish. Walking corpses? Do you think it's something in the water? Mayhaps, mayhaps. You never know what's in the water. Growing each night. Tell them to maintain watch. I don't want a surprise attack before the sun goes down. Yes, sir. What should we do until then? Pray and hope for a miracle. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I didn't think they made women Grey Wardens. Well, why would you think that? Well, they do. I don't think Darkspawn care who kills them. I'm not here to chat. What can I do to help? I don't think Darkspawn care who killed them. If you hadn't noticed, there aren't Darkspawn around these parts. Not yet, anyway. We aren't going to turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village, providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. Have good faith, man. We will defeat this evil together. I... I hope you're right. I've been trying to hold us together, but it isn't easy. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. How is morale? Morale's about what you'd expect. These men aren't soldiers. They're villagers defending their homes, and they're frightened. It would help if we had decent equipment. There weren't enough swords in Owen's shop, and the men's armor is nearly falling off. I don't think we're in any shape to fight. We'll do our best, of course, but... Well, I have my doubts. I just hope I'm alive tomorrow morning. Can I do to help? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. Why does Owen refuse to talk to you? His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids, so he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. He demanded we attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate it. If he doesn't help, he'll die like the rest of us. What good will that do anyone then? Alright. Seems like a good place to start, although I think he gives us other. Have you quests. spoken to Owen? Is he not the most stubborn fool you've ever met? I haven't talked to him yet. What man. are you waiting for? You need something from me? Is there anything else I can do? We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out refuses. Tell me about Dwin. He's a trader, a dwarf. Lives near the lake. Locked himself up in his home with some of his workers, he has. Says he doesn't need any of us. We could use somebody with his fighting experience, but he won't come out. I want to discuss something. Shouldn't you be trying to reason with Owen? Uh, I have some questions. Oh? Ask away. Uh, carry on then. Right. Let's hope we see morning. That is a good enough start to go with. All right. So we'll grab this death root. As you desire. Got a chest here with leather boots. Don't mind me. Is this where the kid? No, this is the blacksmith. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. This Owen the blacksmith, I need to speak with you. Huh? Who is that? What do you want? I've been through enough. Fair not to speak through a door. Can I come in? Mm. All right, all right. Let me undo the locks. All I ask is that you don't make any trouble. Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. 
Somebody's been drinking. So I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? Well, my name is Talia, Grey Warden helping Van Tegan. A Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. Funny, you didn't sound like a dwarf through the door. Can't say I expected that. Anyhow, my name's Owen, though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? Why have you locked yourself in the smithy? My girl, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. I will rescue your daughter. Or you can work to help save her. I'm an old man. Everyone knows we aren't making it through the night. Or are you going to save us? Yes, I am. Is that so? Hmm. Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. What about the militia? They need your help. If you look for Valena, I'll reopen the smithy and make some repairs for the militia. I can do that much. I'll do my best. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damned thing. And I didn't believe him either. You are asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want to promise... <laughs> Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I promise I'll find her. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Right, then. It seems I have some work to do relighting the forge. She might I suppose. not like that. I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here. As soon as possible, if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Morgan just froze my five. Ah. You are a very hard woman to appease, lady. Don't think it dropped, though. I await your command. Never mind. Have you found anything interesting, good old bark spawn? A slightly damaged cake, you say? Well, I do appreciate a slightly damaged cake. Cake! Excellent! Good boy! Bless. Alright. Of course. As I don't desire. think there's anything you'll need in there, but it's hard to say. I was in a bit of a rush when I filled it up. Could the militia use this? Not if I'm going to repair the equipment they have. That stuff is old, anyhow. Yeah, let me open it for you. I have the key. Thank you. I'll take it all. Sell it back to you for high price. All right, that's Owen dealt with. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll inform Bantigan the militia is ready to fight. We'll give those bastards a welcome they won't soon forget. Not only ready, Murdoch, we're going to win. I hope you're right. We may just be village folk, but we're going to fight like there's no tomorrow. I still need to speak with Sir Perth. You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge to the north. Alright, I'll be back. I have a good feeling about tonight. 
All right, so we have Perth and we have Dwight Dwight to deal with. Now this is Caitlin's home, if I remember correctly. The boy is here. She checked, but she did not find him. I shall find him. Hello, is someone in there? Go away. This isn't your home. This is my home. My home, you hear me? Bevan, is that you? How... How do you know my name? Spoke to your sister in the Chantry. Did... Did she tell you to take me back to the Chantry? Don't make me go back there. I hate that place. I hate it. Why do you hate the Chantry so much? Everybody's scared. But they tell me... I shouldn't be scared. And they tell me... I shouldn't be sad that Mother died. I... I don't want to be sad. I'm brave. I'm going to be a hero. I'm going to fight them off. I will. From in there? No. No. I just heard you coming and... I guess that's not very brave of me, is it? I'll... I'll come out now. <coughs> Alright. I came out. You won't hurt me. Will you? I'll go back to the Chantry if you really want. Um... Sister is looking for you, you know? I just didn't want to be at the Chantry anymore. Everyone's scared, and I want to be brave. How is hiding in a dresser being brave? I wasn't always in here. I hid when I heard you coming. I was... Well, I shouldn't tell you. It's a secret. Are you sure? Maybe I could help you. You could. All right, I guess. I just... Father said I could have his sword when I grew up. It was Grandfather's. And Grandfather was a great dragon slayer. I thought... If I was brave like Grandfather, I could use his sword and... Kill the bad people who took Mother. And where is the sword now? In the chest. In Mother's room. Father gave me a key, but I'm not supposed to give it to anyone. I wouldn't worry about it. Go back to your sister. But I... Oh, all right. I guess. She'll be pretty mad at me. But I'll go. You can always get the sword when you come back. Anything else in this house worth looking at? Of course. Second floor. Anything interesting up here? That's the chest. It requires well, right. the key. Fair enough. And that is Caitlin's house. I think I'll want to deal with Dwight next. Hey. If I remember correctly, he's in there? No, that's the general store. There should be powdered barrels in here, though. If I recall correctly. A note, tattered shopping list, barrel. Lamp oil in these barrels. Allow me. I could do that. Insufficient skill. Can you open that? Of course. I didn't think so. Don't lie to me like that, Liliana. I don't appreciate it. In fact. One spent one point to spend on a talent or spell. Just so I'm, I know it is what I think it is. It's this, though I'm not level 8 yet, so I can't learn it. Ooh. What level am I right now? Six. I still gotta go two levels before I learn that? Whack. It's 
suppose I'll learn aim. Probably the one. The wind, not the wife, the wind, so. I get the lock on the door. Hello? Knock. Break open the lock. I'm coming in whether you want me to or not. Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. We'll go where we like unless you'd like to stop us. I apologize, I don't mean any harm. Is that how you greet a fellow dwarf? Apologize, I don't mean any harm. Apology accepted. The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now get out. Murdoch says he needs you for the militia. Huh. So, Murdoch sending a dwarf to do his begging for him? Hoping I'll get all misty-eyed with thoughts of home? Look. I'll tell you the same thing I told him. I'm not risking my neck for this town. Chances are better out there than in here. Thanks. But I'll take my chances in here. Everyone else can run around in the open waiting to die. Can't I change your mind? Hmm. And I have to admit, you have a better chance than most. At least another dwarf is likely to have a few rocks to rub together between their ears. What do you have in mind, then? Let's hear it. What about a little more personal reward? Hmm. It's been a while since I've seen a dwarf like Oh shit, that's evil. not what I meant. I'll give you that. Hmm. It's tempting. But a night with you isn't worth risking my neck for Murdoch and those idiots. That's for sure. I'll put in a good word for you with Bantigan or the Arl. And what good would that do me? The Arl's probably dead. I couldn't care less what Tegan thinks of me. What else you got? Then you go and I don't cut your head off. How about that? So, that's what it comes down to, huh? <laughs> Fine. I'll go. If you want me out there so badly. Thank you. Don't thank me. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this because of you. Go tell Murdoch he won. And I better see you out there in the square when those creatures come. Leveled up? Arc spawn leveled up. Uh, you don't remember which skills he needs. Sure. In fact, I'll just put you on auto level up. How about that? That'll probably be fine. Anything interesting in your house? You are a merchant, after all. The answer was no. Nothing interesting. Alright, so the last one is heading all the way up towards the mill. Because that's where Perth is, or Pierth. Hello, Murdoch. The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly, considering how drunk Owen is. We may just make it. Thanks for persuading him to come out here. He's going to be a great help. I just know it. I'll be back. I need to check on something. I have a good feeling about tonight. I don't like being out here, Dwin. The mayor's giving me the evil eye. Well, he should. Because you're a two for nothing liar. A thief. Well, we don't understand why we're out here. We're out here because I say we're gonna help these people. And since I pay your wages, you're gonna do as I say. Oh, sure, boss. Whatever you say. These humans don't know the hilt of a sword from the pointy end. This ought to be interesting. 
Alright, so the next guy is all the way up here. Now, if I remember correctly, there's also a locked chest up here somewhere. Yeah, it's up there. How do I get to you? Oh. Something I can help with? Not quite. What do you know of this place? Redcliffe? I know little of it except that it is the domain of the Isle of Redcliffe. Redcliffe? I wonder how the name came to be. Is the clay here red? There are places in this world where the clay is a bright, strange red, and often, in the legends of such places, it is the red of blood. The blood of a thousand men slaughtered in battle, or that of an innocent, unjustly slain. It stains the land that it may never be forgotten. Perhaps Redcliffe has one such tale. But I do not know it. Let's just move on. Because I didn't mean to talk to you to begin with. I wanted this stuff root. But thanks for the interesting chat. Alright, we got a weapon for great. Well, it's got right. a silver ring. Allow me. I could do that for you. Root. Okay, that's not happening, and Liliana's not going to have any better skill than me at this point. Alright, what's in this house? I remember, right, there's a couple of people in here. Hello? Bernal Garrison. I think he's the one that I need to talk to for the Blackstones and Regulars. Lovely. What? I cannot believe that I cannot open so many chests. We'll do magic. Frost weapon. Hello, sir. Yes, what can I do for you? Letter for you from the Blackstone Irregulars. I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my wife. Don't sign that paper, she said. They might pay you a few sovereigns now, but they'll be back. Blast. That's exactly what the last I'll guy's wife said. I'll see you on the front lines, I suppose. I'm not the Blackstone's regular. I won't be seeing you anywhere. Toodles. 